My name is Nima Mayer. I'm Head of Immunogenetics Research at the Anthony Nolan Research Institute. The Anthony Nolan Research Institute is part of Anthony Nolan. Um, Anthony Nolan is a bone marrow donor register. We maintain a register of volunteer individuals who are willing to donate their blood stem cells to patients in need to help cure them of diseases such as blood cancer and other hematological disorders. The Anthony Nolan Research Institute's aims are to improve the transplant outcome for all patients and we do that in a number of ways, either trying to find out what makes the best possible match for a particular patient and that includes how we're matching patients currently and the resolution of data that we're generating to do that, whether it's looking at novel genetic factors as well. We're also trying to understand what causes certain post-transplant complications such as graft versus host disease and how we can use our knowledge about different cell types within the immune system to prevent some of these complications or to help cure them if they do um, occur post-transplant. We're also very interested in understanding uh, more about the patient's quality of life and what we can do to support the patient going through um, the transplant journey. The HLA genes are molecules uh, of the immune system that help us recognize self from non-self. HLA typing is performed uh, for a number of different reasons, including drug hypersensitivity testing and disease association um, work. But at Anthony Nolan, we are very interested in HLA typing because of its role in transplantation. So we're looking to match patients and donors at the highest resolution possible for their HLA genes to ensure that they have a minimal risk of the donor graft cells seeing the patient as something that they don't recognise and mounting a large immune response towards that. My name is Thomas Turner and I am a senior postdoctoral research scientist at the Anthony Nolan Research Institute. So we currently perform HLA typing um, by starting off with DNA, so whether this be from blood from cell lines or from buccal swabs and we use polymerase chain reaction with DNA barcoded primers to allow us to multiplex both samples and loci into a single sequencing reaction um, so we do things at quite high throughput and then we um, use Pacific Biosciences single molecule real-time or smart sequencing uh, to generate the, uh, the HLA sequences. So we've been using uh, Promega Maxwell for a number of years and it really is the workhorse of our lab in terms of DNA extraction, whether this be from blood samples, cell lines or buccal swabs. The Maxwell has allowed us to process multiple samples at once with minimal hands-on time, so it's uh, a lot more efficient. And by nature of the work that we do, um, we often get samples from patients with haematological disorders where we may have a very low white blood cell count, for example. Um, so we really need to be getting as much DNA out of these samples as possible and we feel that the Promega Maxwell allows us to do this. We use Promega GoTech long uh, polymerase because um, we found that we get really robust amplification of, of the HLA genes that we study. So they are uh, hyperpolymorphic um, and as such we have found it difficult in the past to have a, a reliable polymerase that allows us to amplify the large um, and variable genes that we're interested in, but with GoTech Long we're able to do that. We've found that GoTech Long um, gives us a higher amplification success rate and we also obtain a greater yield with fewer cycles and the really robust hot start feature allows us to set up multiple reactions um, without worrying about generating non-specific products or having to rush. So we use Pronex um, uh, multiple times throughout our library preparation process, so from cleaning up our initial PCR reaction and then the other enzymatic reactions throughout our library prep. We're currently purifying uh, fragments between 3.5 to 16 kilobases and even within the same individual this can, this can vary significantly depending on what alleles of the gene are present. We use Pronex beads because um, they allow us to ret retain uh, as much DNA, as much of our product as possible. So with performing up to six purifications per library prep, it's really important that we recover as much at each stage as possible. We also um, have found that uh, Pronex uh, maintains this really important size selection and we have a more uh, reliable system so we don't have any clumping of the beads, which we have observed with other technologies and we get more consistent recovery at the end. 
By using Pronex, um, we've been able to reduce the hands-on time um, and uh, this has helped to maintain our uh, DNA integrity um, so we don't have to vortex our samples or rotate them. Um, and having high, uh, high molecular weight DNA is incredibly important for uh, long read sequencing. So we use the Promega Qantas at a really important step in our library process. So we perform an additional Pronex purification on our sequencing libraries before we load them onto our machines. And this is to remove excess sequencing primer and polymerase. So at this point our libraries are uh, very low concentration and they're bound to protein. So using the Qantas we're able to get a very accurate measurement of the, the concentration at this point, both before and after this purification step. Uh, and in doing so we can calculate a yield and then compensate any loss of that yield to loading our to the optim optimize the loading concentration of our machines um, which is uh, crucial to us being able to generate high volumes of good quality data. So by sequencing the HLA genes to an extent we haven't been able to before, so looking at not just the exons but all of the introns and the untranslated regions as well, we've discovered a lot of additional polymorphism that we weren't aware of previously. We're currently performing a retrospective study of patient donor pairs where we're hoping to correlate any differences we find in these regions with clinical outcome. And in doing so, we're hoping to encourage others in the field to adopt similar strategies to uh, long read sequencing and HLA typing at the highest resolution. Um, we hope that this will allow clinicians to pick the best donors for their patients.